Thanks for sticking with us. And Guy, it seems to be the theme of the show today. We have got students that continue to build accolades within our district. Champion after champion. I don't know what Umbel ISD puts in the water, but we clearly <laughs> have something in the water. Um, today we have with us Rain Jones, and Rain has the distinction of being the number one student, not in Umbel ISD, not in Houston, but in the state of Texas for being first out of all grades, not just being a fourth grader, um, uh, with first in math, which is an online mathematics mastery program. Last year as a fourth grader, Rain solved, this is unbelievable to me, more than 82,000, yes, that's 82,000 math problems, which is unbelievable. Um, and demonstrated mastery not only above your grade level in seventh grade and eighth grade, uh, but managed to take home the number one prize in the state of Texas. So with us today, we have three lovely ladies here to talk about um, first in math. We have Melissa Christensen, who is the Umbel ISD Elementary Math Coordinator. Welcome. Thank you. We have Samantha Morganroth, who is the Woodland Hills um, fourth grade math teacher. Yes, thank you. And, and we have our big winner herself, we have Rain Jones, who is a former fourth grader at Woodland Hills Elementary, who I understand is currently at Green Tree, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well welcome all of you and congratulations Rain on such an awesome honor. Um, Melissa, let's start with you. Tell us about First in Math and, and how it works. Okay, well First in Math is an online um, interactive program for K-8 math students. Um, it's a supplemental program that we use in Umbel ISD um, and it covers a range of math skills. Um, K2 really focuses on patterns um, and just building that number sense. But as you get up into the upper grades, it's really building a foundation for algebra. The best part, I think, about the program is it's so engaging um, and it's competitive. And so the kids compete for stickers, and um, they're just little interactive online stickers, but they get recognized um, at school um, and, like rain, in the state of Texas. Number one in the state of Texas, remind her that. That's right. That's Absolutely. Right. <laughs> we like that. We do. And so, Samantha, you um, you got to work with Ray. Oh, yes. Um, during her year uh, that culminated in a state championship. Yes. From your perspective, in your classroom, not only with Rain, but, but all of the students that you worked with, mm -hmm. um, What's the benefit of first in, in math, and does it really make a difference in, in your day-to-day -day instruction? Oh yeah, it offered a lot. Um, one of the things that I really liked about it is it's very hands-on, and it's self-paced. So it's at kind of the kids' level. It's very independent. Um, Kids nowadays love technology, so that was sort of a motivator on there, and it offered a really great friendly competition, sort of like <laughs> when you're at a, a, a race, you know, a, a speedway, the cars sort of bump each other to help each other. She was the bumper, the person who <laughs> motivated our class oh, cool. to kind of keep it driven, to keep it going. So it, it's a great way to kids to build their skills and fluency, as well as that critical thinking. Awesome. At the end of the day, that's what really matters. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Okay, Rain, how does it feel to be number one in the state of Texas? <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so. Okay, 82,000 math problems. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, it was kind of hard when I got up to the higher levels in the math problems, but I fought through it and I tried my hardest when I wouldn't, when I failed on them, I kept trying and trying and I just got better. Well, well clearly you got better, <laughs> that, that's right. Um, that's just a significant amount of work, I can't even imagine. And it sounds like if, if she did 82,000 and she was the bumper, Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, how many problems would you say Woodland Hills Elementary competed or completed? Well, we had a lot. Okay. Every day we had sort of a scoreboard um, for classes offering that competition between different levels. And uh, her third grade teacher would come over, Rain, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 and so, you know, it, like I said, it goes back to motivation. She was driven and had a great goal in her mind, and it helped others continue. So every day you'd walk in, and the kids would be like, I did this last night, and they were so proud. And it helped motivate the whole school. Well, and, so. and that's, that's the other neat part about it, Melissa. So really it's 24-7 access. Mm -hmm. I mean, students can 
can work and, and, and achieve stickers and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, really, That's anytime they choose. At home, wherever they can access the internet, they have access to this program. That is so awesome. Mm -hmm. So, Rain, did you sleep? <laughs> I mean, 82,000 math problems. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Um, I think I get tired after a while, but I slept a little, and then I would get up, and then I'd be like, can I play now? Can I play? <laughs> <laughs> and and oh, for, me, for me to hear this, though, what is so exciting about it is it really gets students excited about math. You know, when you think about math, a lot of times you get kids rolling their eyes, or they're not interested, mm -hmm. or they're frustrated. But to see and to hear about the excitement really revolving around this program and, and the amount of, of exposure that they get to different types of problems um, is, is unbelievable to me. So, um, you know, kudos to the district, kudos to Woodland Hills, and, and, and kudos to you, Rain, for being number one in the state of Texas. <laughs> It's great. It really is great. So um, obviously, Samantha, the program keeps track of, of students. Yes. And so what kind of information as a teacher do you get from the program, or can you get? Well, um, I can kind of see where they're at. And, and like she said, there'd be times where she'd get frustrated. Um, she never quit. But <laughs> you can see that the kids will come and talk to you. Hey, I'm not understanding. So it's it's sort of a bonding, a one-on-one -on -one at times when you can go over and help them. Um, also, parents can go and help them out. I mean, my husband's frequently talking, I wish I knew math more. Well, it helps build those skills so you can help your own kids. So really, it kind of makes that connection. You can go in and look at how they're doing. But the kids sort of come to you too when they're at that level and they're uh, frustrated and need assistance so you really know where they're strong in and where they need assistance to further their um, benefiting from the program and math in general. Quickly before we go, Rain, I'd like to hear from you. Obviously you've competed in the program. You're now in fifth grade. What advice would you give other students who are interested in competing in the first in math program? Um, try your hardest. Um, try to make it a friendly competition. Try not to get frustrated and just try your hardest and have fun while you're doing it. Awesome. Great sounds, advice. Sounds like very sage advice from a very smart young woman. So um, thank you ladies for being with us. We appreciate your time very much thank and we'll be anxious to hear about more great things coming from First and Math in the district. Oh, no doubt. Woodland Hills <laughs> has got the market cornered. That's right. That's right. And for our viewers, please stick with Guy and I. We will be right back. Well, we've come to the end of the show, Carrie. We have. It goes by so quickly. Oh, I know. And this is one show I really wish would have went on and on right. and on. I just, you know, honestly, and, and really thank you to, to so many people in our community and our parents. But, you know, Carrie, we've got the, we really have the best children in the world. You know, my favorite part about this job, Guy, and I've talked about this and I've said it to the viewers before, is I thoroughly enjoy meeting the talented, smart individuals that we've got uh, in our classroom. Students that are so accomplished at such a young age, that are so poised, that are, you know, winning state awards, winning national awards. We have athletes that are, you know, Olympians. It's really unbelievable. But, but more importantly, they're just all really good kids and, and, and I, I promise you they're the norm not the exception I mean we're just we're blessed that way we are the humble Kingwood Atascacita community should be very proud of, of the children in its district and, and I know I know for one I'm thrilled that I have the opportunity to meet and get to talk with them and I hope our viewers enjoy that as well absolutely absolutely and as we close I also want to let everyone know um, that we film your schools right here at the Community Learning Center. A uh, variety of programs are offered here um, by our district at the CLC. We want to thank everyone at the Community Learning Center for allowing us to be here Absolutely. month after month and for, <laughs> for taping the show. They're just, uh, they're really, really good about that and, and it's a great place to be. They take good care of us. So <laughs> enjoy the rest of October. Uh, Turkey Day is on its way. <laughs> Thank you for joining Carrie and I for another edition of Your Schools.